What does it take to succeed in the world of politics? What does it take in order to be civically engaged? One of the first things you need is access. Because of our proximity, access is really easy. We are right across the street from the Capitol. We are right across from the governor's office. There's no college or university in the country closer to the state capital than Willamette is. There's a network of connections that creates a remarkable set of opportunities for our students. I've worked here in the Capitol building for over 20 years, and it all started here with an internship from Willamette. There are probably about 120 people here during the legislative session that have a Willamette connection. I started at the governor's office in my freshman year. As soon as I stepped into the Capitol, there were so many different opportunities around that I wasn't able to get just from the classroom setting. I think it's really important that students are part of the process and that we're engaged in the conversations of potential bills. And if we're part of those conversations, you can let your voice be heard. And what we are deeply committed to doing is trying to create a sense of fluid connection between the text that students are studying, the conversations that they're having in our classrooms, and the work that they're going to do once they leave campus. I think that Willamette teaches you to ask the right questions, and each of those, for me, have translated into how I think about policy that I'm working on. They translate those soft skills into this very fast-paced, challenging, and complex environment. My experience at Willamette University was fundamental to everything that I have done ever since. I was fortunate to have faculty encouraging me to take full advantage of the opportunities in my interest areas, developing me for wherever I ended up. Learning the relationship between the constituents and the members was one of the things that I had never really fully understood until I was actually thrown into it. It makes me happy that I came to Willamette. When students go over and serve as interns, they're given significant responsibilities. They are working with constituents, they are trying to develop public policy, and they are trusted with that type of responsibility because they earn it. We're here at the Democratic Party of Oregon headquarters in Portland, Oregon. My internship really taught me about relationship building, policy, and making big picture change. Now I'm working for Our Oregon, which is one of the largest progressive groups in Oregon that really makes a huge difference on the ballot every single year and hopefully win some really good things on the ballot for Oregon families. I think the great thing about Willamette students is they're a very diverse student body. But one thing they have in common is a real passion and idealism about government and public policy. I truly believe that everyone should work for a government agency, whether it's federal, state, county, or city. You have a different sense of how things happen, why things happen. You gain a deeper understanding and appreciation of what it means to be a U.S. citizen. The other way that students are shaping public policy is not just by working within the legislature, but by working for advocacy organizations that are helping to shape the votes and the concerns to raise priorities for state legislators from the outside. My first interactions with the Capitol were with Causa Oregon, Oregon's Immigrants Rights Organization. I was just at the bill signing for tuition equity bill that would allow undocumented students to have access to higher education. Good job, you guys. Thank you. What is justice? What is freedom? What is equality? How ought we to live? Once you start getting at those questions, which are the heart of what students are often coming to college to figure out, then they move back into the world of electoral politics with a bigger worldview and an enhanced understanding of what is possible and what's important.